Hey guys, it's Tiny Zom Logan back with another video for you. And today we get our first glimpse or our first look at the Ares 3. Now this is um, uh, the AMD version of uh, Republic of Gamers flagship graphics card. We generally get an AMD and an Nvidia variant. The Mars is the Nvidia version and then the Ares is the AMD one. Now this is, uh, like I said, it's their latest and greatest graphics card. Um, it's got a, it's a proper water block on there. It's actually an EK block. So there's no, you know, all in one water cooling solution. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's proper. You, if you haven't got water cooling, you're going to have to invest in it. There is no air cooled option. Um, and it says the water cooling design it was meant to run 25% cooler. We've got Digi VRMs and black metallic capacitors in 16 phase super alloy power. Um, it's, it says the ROG Ares 3, the world's fastest gaming graphics cards, hand chosen dual Radeon R9290X GPUs, factory overclocked to 1030 megahertz, and then uh, supported by 8 gigabyte of 5 gigahertz GDDR5. And they're also saying that it's 15% faster than a Titan Z outside of the box. There's only going to be 500 Ares units manufactured worldwide, and they're all going to be numbered too. Also, when we get the uh, get to the box, there's your suitcase. Okay then. So there's our little box. And then if we uh, flip these up. Ho, 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 ho. Dun, dun, dun. So in the top, we have, let's have a look at these. Oh, these are so soft. I'm not used to the, it's braided, but they are incredibly soft. It's almost like they're cushioned. Um, and these look like they're, uh, they are, they are extenders so that you can, uh, but you, all you need to remember with extenders is it's obviously going to make your PCR Express longer. So although it's going to look nice at the top, you are going to have to hide these behind the rest of your rig. But we've got those and there's one for each, which is kind of a little hint. Up here, we've got our driver manual and your CD and stuff. So that's that. Now, enough teasing, I think. Let's peel. Now, this is the first time I've done this. I've not seen this at all yet. Oh, showing a bit of leg. Oh, there's a bit of skirt. Oh, let's just rip it all off. Oh, my days. That looks so pretty. Let's have a zoom in quickly, just so that you can see that. You can see into the block. Oh, that does look nice. But... So we've got some uh, G1 quarter compression fittings, half inch, that you can screw in. There's a couple of blanks up on this side as well, because obviously we're gonna, it'll be both sides. We've also got an Allen key there, that's so you can do the blanks up. I'm not sure what's on this, so when we do the full review, I will tell you, but I know it's a USB stick hidden in there, because I've actually got some of these from the show, so they've obviously made an awful lot of them. But, oh. Yeah. This thing looks the kahunas. I'm going to move the box out of the way just so that we don't get any focus issues. And also, while I'm doing the, uh, the video, I can take little snapshots while we're doing it because this really does look lush. Now, I'm assuming that there's got to be an LED point around here somewhere. Unless it already lights up on its own, I don't know. Normally with these things we get, um, I'm hope, like I said, I'm hoping this is all going to light up. I don't know whether it's going to do it on its own or whether we're going to add LEDs. But you can definitely see a deep red acrylic all the way around there. You can see it is copper on the inside, but it's well hidden, which is actually quite nice because I'm not, personally, I'm not a fan of copper. I prefer to have it nickel. Um, but you can see all the power phases here. There's so many of them. Three eight pins. Uh, if we go around the back, there's DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort. But if you have a look 
it's single PCI backed, so it's actually quite thin. So for argument's sake, if you, you know, you might even have this with a water-cooled system in uh, an ITX rig. Now, it's obviously blatantly plastic. So let's do it. Big Bang Theory. Oh, oh, it's making me go weak at the knees. We're feeling the film. Oh, and I'm spent. Pardon me while I regain my composure, children. Limited edition, unlimited power. And look, the bloody logo is the right way. That does look so nice. Can I get a decent picture without my hand in it? I don't think I can. It does look so nice. Now, so, lovely plate. Sorry, I completely forgot because I was trying to take uh, pictures with it while we were filming. But I was also just completely mesmerised by how simple that back plate is. Normally we have a gazillion holes over it. It's just nice and plain, just with the Aries cut out on it, with the ROG logo there. It's all very kind of understated. But it does make me wonder whether that acrylic is going to pop. I, I don't think that they can have put LEDs in there excuse me anywhere but I hope I hope there's a way that we can because that would look so nice lit up and it would almost be a little bit upsetting if you couldn't light it up one way or another there doesn't appear to be anything in the box to be able to do it either but oh that does look the kahunas so this was just obviously always meant to be just the first look. So we've got two fully fledged, hand picked, which means they've been speed binned, two 90Xs, 1030 megahertz. Then we've got eight gigabytes, so four per core, of a five gigahertz DDR5 VRAM on there. This card is actually number 14 of 500. I do happen to know that there are two of these in Europe or for Europe, and they're going to be rotated around the press. So they are very limited, even for us boys. Everyone seems to assume that we get to keep everything, but I've not got this for very long before it needs to go on to grace somebody else's desk for a bit, but I've obviously got to do a water-cooled rig with it. Oh, we've got some detailing up there as well. But anyway, I'm not going to bore you guys any longer. I just keep moving it around. I'm going to love you and leave you with our first look. And you can all ponder on what I may possibly have planned for it. What motherboard is it going to go in? What case is it going to go in? Only time will tell.